Now, the lockdown in New South Wales, meantime, looks set to continue. I'll come back to that later in the program and more details will be announced in Sydney tomorrow. Maybe this unsustainable zero COVID strategy is finally being exposed. But I want to demonstrate something about our lockdowns that too many people fail to acknowledge or perhaps even understand. And that is that most of our lockdowns have been completely unnecessary in this country. Now, I know the premiers claim hero status for their lockdowns and the public in many instances lap it up, but that doesn't change the facts. And the facts are that most of these lockdowns have been all pain and no gain. Now, in Victoria last year and in New South Wales at the moment, the virus escaped the contact traces and like it or lump it, agree or disagree, the lockdowns have been an attempt to regain control. That is beyond dispute. These are cases where the lockdowns have slowed the spread. But two lockdowns this year in Western Australia were completely unnecessary and ineffectual. At least one in Queensland was. An earlier one in Victoria over Valentine's Day was the same. And now, after a pointless pizza box lockdown last year, South Australia has had a second superfluous lockdown. The data shows these lockdowns did nothing to add to the virus suppression effort. So they inflicted pain, they created a lot of financial and social trauma for millions of people, but they did not help to quell the outbreaks. Let me explain with, with reference to South Australia's lockdown, which comes out of that seven-day lockdown tonight, which is why the Premier and his Chief Health Officer were sounding very proud of themselves today. Thank you very much and good morning. What a lovely zero case day today. I was very pleased to not have any bad news overnight on my mobile phone. So it really is fantastic. Yes, it is good news. And they have quelled a small outbreak in South Australia through tracing the contacts and isolating them. Well done. But their lockdown was completely superfluous, as epidemiologists have pointed out in these cases in the past. Let me show you. The so-called Modbury cluster started in Adelaide with one patient who'd picked up the virus in New South Wales. Now, the first thing you do is isolate any direct contacts. South Australia did that, and over time, it turned out there were 18 cases among the contacts, people they obviously isolated immediately. But they also locked down the whole of South Australia to stop the spread in case the virus had escaped those close contacts that were already isolated. But it hadn't. There were no cases outside the isolated ring. They controlled the outbreak and they would have done that without the lockdown. So there you have it. The lockdown did nothing. But politicians pretend otherwise. We don't put these restrictions in lightly, but I again uh, reiterate, if we didn't do this, we would find ourselves in a very different situation. That's not true. Without the lockdown, the state would be in exactly the same position when it comes to the virus. It just would have had more economic and social normality, kids would have been at school, footy matches wouldn't have been shifted and businesses would have been able to trade. But the lockdown, like at least four others in Australia this year, did nothing to help. Now, premiers and chief health officers ought to fess up about this stuff. They're quite entitled to say the lockdown was there as a precaution. They can tell the truth, and that is that the lockdown was there in case their contact tracing couldn't keep up. It was a safety net, and in this case in South Australia, it was a safety net that wasn't needed. I think people would still support that, strangely enough, because many are so scared and paranoid about the virus. But... Politicians should level with them and admit that their lockdown was a safety net that wasn't needed, that it made no difference this time. Don't pretend, as Stephen Marshall has done, that your lockdown worked. If you really thought the virus might have escaped your contact tracing, you would have, wouldn't be opening up the whole state now after seven days, given the disease has a 14-day incubation period. By opening up in seven days, you're admitting your lockdown was unnecessary. But Marshall claims it worked. The people will applaud him. He gets plenty of media and political kudos for nothing. To borrow from dire straits, this was another case of lockdowns for nothing, votes for free.